hi guys so this is another day i have some things to unbox um so my by the time you're seeing this anyway it's been my husband's birthday or maybe a day past his birthday um so i'm thinking of what to get for him for his birthday but i decided to go with so we're just chatting randomly yeah after he got me flowers for my birthday i think you guys remember he's the only person who has ever gotten me flowers obviously but that was not the first time definitely i think he has gotten me flowers maybe four or five times obviously we lived in nigeria for a bit so it's not like it's impossible but to be crazy expensive um so when we're in ukraine he has gotten me flowers and yeah, now in the uk yeah he's gotten me flowers as well so um that being said i just randomly 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 asked asked him that oh have you ever got him flowers and he said no and i'm just like i mean it won't be a bad idea to get him flowers so i'm going to get him flowers i'll give him flowers on his birthday then i ordered perfume a box of perfume it's not just perfume though i think he has um what's it called he has a shaving cream or shaving gel and maybe a lotion or something i'll open it now um, so it's like a gift box for a guy um, so I ordered that and in addition to that I'm going to give him a card um, I don't know what else I might have chocolate I don't know what else I'm going to have to eat but yeah so it's not home yet so I got the package delivered today so I'm just going to unbox it and go hide it somewhere where you won't find it um, so yeah so that's just what I'm going to do Apart from that, I ordered stuff from Temu, which got delivered today as well. So I'll just unbox that quickly as well. So, this is it, guys. So it's Dutch on the banner. See the huge box they packed it inside. Just this small thing. Anyway, so this is what it is. So it's. Oh, wow. looks really cute. So it's a set. Has um Dolce & Gabbana the one. So I don't really know much about perfumes, but I just was checking for like unique scents that I could get for him. Mm, smells nice actually. Mm, smells really nice. And it comes with um this is a okay an aftershave balm and a shower gel. So shower gel aftershave balm. Well, it looks really nice. I think the bottle is not bad. I'm not going to spray it so that it doesn't smell it on me when it comes. Um, yeah. So, that's that. So, I'm just going to keep it somewhere for him. Then, I'll go hide this when I'm done. Then my Timo package. I have not opened it. So, I don't know if you're in the UK. This is my first time having issues with every. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Every. So, I've ordered um, something before this. Like a day or two before I ordered this. I ordered it. I forgot to change my address. So, it was meant to be delivered to my former apartment so or from my house problem was i knew i wasn't going to be there although we still had the keys because we haven't dropped the keys yet so i asked i asked them i updated like on the every whatever now you know they give you the option to change your delivery stuff i said they should put it in my back door do you understand because I, obviously i was not going to be there i was going to be here when they bring it so if they knock nobody will respond so i said put it in back door this delivery guy came three times on three occasions did not bother to drop it at the back door I don't think he even bothered to check like what alternative places the item should be dropped if nobody is home. Came three times, just snapped a picture of the door that oh, obviously he came and knocked, there's nobody. But I clearly put there that, put it at the back door. I've had people deliver in the past and I asked them to put it at the back door if I'm not in. Because that way I know, okay, it's at the back door. Once I'm passing through that area, I can just grab it or I can go later in the day and pick it up. Anyway, so now Temu funny thing is there's no even way to contact every obviously you call is always automated um voice machine you chat them up is automated um um chat whatever like just one machine answering you um so like there's nobody physically to speak with so 
I chatted Temu up and Temu is saying, no, oh, they can just refund me. Like, there's no way to change my delivery address at this point. They can't send it to my new place. The only thing is to refund me. And I'm like, okay, what if they attempt delivery again? And this time around, at least let the person put it at the back door. I don't think it's an option because they've not still responded to me. Anyway, they might have to refund me. And I needed the item because those are the first set of things I ordered when we moved. The day we moved to this place, just a few, like, pieces for the house. Mostly, like, um... Toilet paper holder, like a tiny storage unit put under the um, bathroom sink. Um, just a few things like that, you understand? I think that might even be where my satin bonnet is. I mentioned I ordered satin bonnet. I'm not sure if that's where it is. I hope it's here, but I don't know. So anyway, that being said, let us... Oh my goodness, how have I done? So I ordered like, you know all these fake books? That are just like boxes, but like fake books. So I mean, obviously, it makes sense. There's no way they're going to send like a fake book, like packed properly or arranged properly. It's going to like compress during the journey. So they've just sent it as a just cardboard folded. So I guess it's up to me to like put it in a proper box shape. I really hope it comes out like this. Is like it's supposed to be like two books or three books. Or is it one book? Okay, no, this is just one book. Picasso just to like put around the house um, let me just show you guys because we have like so we have this stuff yeah the bottom shelf we're thinking of putting like just fake books there just for decor the one before that is like we bought frames but we haven't got around to putting pictures there so yeah we have that to sort out and then this um center table what's it called yeah, just underneath here, it's empty. So I'm thinking there should be something there as well, like maybe some something decor pieces or something, which is why I ordered like those books. So I don't know how it's going to work, but let's see. So, yeah, so this is me again. Um, so what's next? I don't know what's inside there. Let me So this is like fake, like fake book as well. So it says live, love, laugh, live more, worry less, and um, be happy. So it's like supposed to be like fake book, but it's not really a book. It's just like a plastic thingy, and it comes with this. Let me show you that. It comes with this. Um, rope whatever to go around it's like a you know what they call those things i can't remember what it's called but like this old like give it like vibe away like an old book <laughs> don't know if i'm saying the right thing but um, okay. so more fake books which we're supposed to make into a box ourselves I think this was how it is. I thought it would come. So, I mean, it makes sense. Um, yeah, so another of this. So I got this because they're the same exact size as them. Um, yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. Exact same size as this other one. So, what do I say? And this is, um, this is more, giving more of that old vibe. And they wrapped it already. So I'll just follow the way this is wrapped. This one says, um, home. It says grateful, thankful, and um, blessed. And this one says, live more, worry less, and be happy. So, yeah, so I'll show you guys where we plan to put this one. Um, in a bit. So, just the TV console, yeah? So those two, you know, just 
the first layer there are like three empty spaces obviously the stuff is their stuff then i'm going to take them out so on the left we'll put one of these things and on the extreme right as well we'll put one of these there as well so yeah so that's the plan but that's my own plan here i know my husband is still i mean it's more it's more it's more creative so you have that idea i don't want the video to be too long ah thank god my satin shop was in this in this order so that's good so my satin cap is here and um yeah, i'll order two of them so obviously you guys are going to see this video like two weeks before sorry i'm going to be i'm recording this like two weeks before um before my husband's birthday so obviously i'm not going to see this until like two weeks from when it's been rec it's been recorded so then i got like two brush covers so it came as four four pieces so there are four different colors and then um, yeah, that's all that came with this package i still have apart from the first one i ordered i mentioned that um they haven't delivered oh okay still have one thing so i ordered them um, pro pillow covers so obviously i don't know if you guys have seen the space but we're like trying to aim for like a gray yellow gray and yellow design so we've always had this um i don't know what it's called but like cover whatever that they put on the chair which is like yellow mustard we also got this accent chair which is mustard we've had this cover for a bit i mean it's already looking bad so apart from that we have green ones as well obviously green green and yellow is what we use in our former house um so we're changing to just like yellow pro pillows so which is why i ordered more of this because this is like because this is like well it's looking brighter than what i thought i was expecting something darker i don't know how it's going to work but let's see can you guys see so i felt it was giving like bit of gray yellow and um gray yellow and like yeah and i felt it went with the cutting as well that's why i got it but now i'm not so sure i don't know you'll see how it turns out this video is taking too long so i ordered two of that yeah there's two of that so i'm going to take out the green um the green covers we have and replace them with this one so um so yeah that's it guys that's all we ordered um Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next clip. I look crazy. <laughs> Got my hair all over the place. We're living home in a rush today. Um, should I wear slippers? Yeah. Um, so we have a few errands to run. I'm supposed to meet someone by 1 p.m. And it's basically 1 p.m. already. Um, so we're returning the keys to our former house. I'm doing a few runs, Sha. I'll carry you guys along as we go. Today is a warm day. I'm happy. It's 25 degrees. Um, yeah, I haven't left the house in a couple of days. I don't go out a lot because I have to wait till when my designated driver is free so that you can drive me. I'm currently like on leave, so I'm not at work this period. So. So I just chilled him. My husband is free, and then we do our all our work out together. I'm a sports wife. I'm a sports lazy wife. So my glasses is bending more okay. time. Yeah, it's, it's high time. I should, I should actually start my driving lessons. Yeah, before the end of the year. It's one of my goals. At least I should start driving before the end of the year. I think it can happen. What do you guys think? How long did it take you to? to start driving how long did it take you to learn i'm thinking of starting next month then probably like three four months i think i'll be good yeah so um i'll talk to you guys in a bit anyway so we've dropped the keys to our former house so we're now here hoping that we get our food deposit back <laughs> um so we're going to post office here to drop off that stuff for which one first it's not post office it's actually so um our next stop is to drop off something at the post my husband has gone to do that 
I'm just waiting in the car. Um, cause oh, we stood a bit at the house, cause it's like it was it was an unfurnished house, or it's an unfurnished house. So like, we went to drop off the keys, and basically there was nowhere to sit. So I was just standing for a while while the guy was the house manager was trying to check check everything i'm sure that it was in a good state i mean we used the house well i thought i'll be able to do a like a tour of the space like an empty house tour but um we got there late the property manager was already there so um there was no point recording at that at that time so yeah anyway once we're done here we would go for a bit of grocery shopping we just need to pick a few items um oil oil um, bread kefir do you guys take kefir i find it nicer than um than yogurt i don't know it's just it feels like it has the right amount of sharp and well i mean it's still like the all yogurt family i think at the end of the day but yeah of late sharp i've been liking it um so getting kefir getting oil I think we need salt as well getting bread and i think that's basically it and yeah i think after that will be going on so let me not talk too much just waiting for my husband to get back now and then we can move <laughs> Your teeth after it came, you had Bogasha. I had the mini McFlurry, he had the big one, big McFlurry for a big man, and Boga and something else. But yeah, it was needed in the cold weather, I've been this hot weather rather. And I'm off to I'm off to complete our, our work for the day, so grocery shopping, and um, yeah. Oh, what are they doing at the Audi? They are building something. Anyway, yeah, that's that. That's why they say you should not go outside because outside is cost. Let me just pick one or two things so you know you are spending 50 pounds. Like, and also, hey, another advice don't go out when you are hungry. No, don't go shopping when you are hungry. The amount of biscuits and chocolates that we bought, and we don't even eat those things, but we shall bought them. Shall. Oh, come, we shall spend, 
spent and bought more than what we were supposed to. But yeah. We're on our way home now. Um and yeah, that's it for today. I'm not sure I'm going to leave the house for the rest of this week. Maybe until the weekend, Shaco. We shall see.